All right, all right. We haven't made a new base design or a tutorial in a very long time, but I think I got here something honestly pretty interesting, very unique. But just a disclaimer, my tutorials are no longer easily digestible. This is a base design that I made for myself and I just know people will ask like what base I'm making. The cost is about 20k metal and 40k stone without any deployables. I have um, more beefed up externals. If you don't have that, it's not going to be as expensive. But basically, we start off with these pixel gap. It's all about the pixel gap. Before I start, though, shout out to Game Lights. Uh, I actually watched his videos and uh, saw some of these bunkers, like the pixel gap ones. I think what we have here is kind of similar to my old Asian base designs, but it's a little bit different. And from the top, you can cover it as, as if it's a 4x2, but it actually starts with a 2x2. Our entrance is here, and as you can see, you can see a lot of different angles you can get shot from already. You can get shot from here, you can get shot from here, you can get shot from there. Um, we're going to have turrets. So this is the way in. And the top part here is kind of a standard 2x2, two two, but as you can see, we have this fully covered in. So starting off, we have another bunker right here with a vending machine. This way is a way down. As you can see, it's another bunker going down here. You usually make this high crawl. If you break this, it opens up. So this is how I have my usual loot room. So the reason why we have the tier two right here with the boxes, these pixel gaps require you to have smart alarms usually, or do this like really precise like positioning so that you can actually loot all the stuff on the other side. But if you do it like this and put your sleeping bags all the way in the edge here, you can just have like a normal loot room and still be able to loot the inside of your bunker. Here's the upkeep. 6.6K, 7.5. Not a lot of high qual at all, which is really good for this kind of base. The externals are usually pretty much nothing as well. 187, 442. So basically, you start out with a 2x2 two two that costs 23 rockets to raid without any doors. So as long as you add more doors and more honeycomb, that will go up to like 30 something. I focus heavily on defendability, but also offline raid prevention. So these, this is your inner and outer peaks. The reason why I combine the two, I combine three things actually. I combine the, the inner peaks, which is here. You can actually see the inside of your inner peaks. And the reason why we have the third floor as like wall frames is so that you can actually see into your compound as well from the same side and we have window floor here too so three things that should be in three separate floors into one floor just to save on resources and if you come here this is extra storage because if you put a door right here this is actually another loot room that you know raiders have to loot or raid and this is um peaks to your ceilings and the reason why we have it here is if you put one repair bench and two small boxes like this you're practically invisible you have a one way like a valorant one way in rust they won't be able to see you unless they like go all the way out here and it's still it's so hard to shoot at the person but from here you can see the feet of pretty much everyone on the roof the way up you see that there's an open this is actually a locker hidden inside the inside the roof so this is yet a, another metal thing that they have to break if they want to get whatever's inside this one right here. And you can actually fit quite a lot in these lockers. And then on the top, it's very flexible. There's actually four more bunkers that you can place here too. That's really easy to make. So if you put this and put a vending machine right here, not only can you have a shop, but this is also another bunker. Boom. You can put it on all four triangles here on your roof and then just make it metal. That's another eight times four rockets that people have to use if they want to see what's underneath here, inside here. You can disable broadcasting as well if you don't want to use that as chop. These are segmented as well. There's one segment here and then one segment here, right? So if someone blows from this angle, you have all of this that's not blown in that you can freely move around. That's why having bedrooms on both sides is important. So that's the base. I'll show you guys how to build it. I don't have any fancy ways of showing how to build it. Uh, I'm just going to show you how I would build it if I was building it in vanilla. Okay, so first first thing you do is you place two square foundations. You're going to go on the right side, take a triangle foundation out, 
You're gonna jump once. This is how you do the pixel gap. Shout out the game lights for having his video. And then you're gonna you're gonna crouch. You're gonna jump, crouch, place it. Don't move your mouse. Go all the way left and then all the way right, right before it turns red. And then make sure you can place this. It should be good. You're gonna break these two now. So one foundation is higher than the, the other one. This is the lower one. We're gonna start out with this. Game Lice usually likes to do it on all four sides, but I only do it on one. Because I'm only gonna make one more bunker. And I'm gonna have um, two externals instead of four. So obviously you use your bone knife, get rid of this. And then from here on, you're gonna attach the square foundation to that. And then to this. And then attach it to this. And then attach it to this one as well. And as long as you see these cluster of stones on the right side on all of them, that means it's good. Then you get, remove this and you place one foundation here. You don't have to upgrade it to wood, but you can if you want. And then you just make a standard two by one like this. And then you want to make sure that you secure yourself as fast as possible. Like a door here, right? And then you, you come out here right away before you place the PC, do this and then go inside. Place this wall frame, and then you're going to place a TC right here. As close as possible to the to here. And then you place the half wall on top of this, and then you can break this now. So if you place this here, and maybe early game, you would place um, two small boxes. I don't know, like right here. You're going to be able to see that you can loot your TC. You don't want to close it off yet, though, because you want to add the locker and the vending machine, right? Vending machine doesn't require any BPs. It just needs three gears, and I think it's 25 high quality. So honestly, it's kind of hefty in price, but if you're recycling, it shouldn't be an issue. But if you have a locker BP, you want to place this first and then place the vending machine on the left side here. And then now we have three things that you can put, put loot in, and then you just cover it, right? And then if you have a tier two, you place one here. And this is a duo base, I would say, because I don't know. I, I kind of designed this space for like solo or duo. Place your bag as far, far to the, as close as possible to the door. Like this. Because you need this box to stick out as much as you can. This would be the easiest way for you to loot these, um, loot the pixel gap. And then from here on, you need more storage. So you're going to put this one here, this one here, and this should be okay for you to live out of for a very long time um obviously you want to be able to put one more airlock if you don't want to get deep done so you're gonna do that right now you have two doors and your tc is blocked and honestly from here um if you have the resources and you live in a peaceful area i would work on the externals like asap however if you're contested and you feel like you're gonna get raided what you want to do is you want to high call this or make it metal at least as soon as possible and then just make the sheet metal you don't want to make it any other skin you don't want to make it high qual because i'm pretty sure you can't you can't loot it if it's high qual yeah you can't loot it so make this metal as well and then you put like a garage door here you put like a garage door here pretty secure you know what i mean but now you have TC and you have a vending machine that we you, you can protect from door raids at least. So how are you going to make your externals is you go one square, go to the right, and then you're going to add five more squares. So it's going to be six total. One, two, three, four, five, six, three triangles. You can get rid of everything else now. And then from here, you're going to attach a triangle foundation to the square foundation. You want to make sure it doesn't connect to this one. Because those are different heights. This should be good. And then put one triangle out. Six squares again. Put this here. Put half wall. Make this, make this. Now this is your gap. And you should be able to tell. You can see like this little gap right here. You can tell right away that there's a gap. You get rid of this. And then from here... You want to delete that so you can actually place the TC and then you wall in the TC right here. Boom. You don't have to worry about, um, you should cold lock it, honestly. 
But you don't have to worry about getting your teammates to have it. Because they can always get it later. So you just put this. Maybe put like a wooden door even early game. And then you just need one small box here. Like that. And then now you can loot the TC. And then later on, this right here is going to be the way that you're going to connect it. So after you're done that, you're actually good to destroy this. And now we're going to work on the second bunker. Okay. The second bunker goes like this. So from here, one, two, wait, one, one triangle, one square. And then you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, put a square. I'm going to go all the way back, bring two squares back. And then you're going to do it again on the left side. One, two, three, four, five, six, put a square. And then from here, you're going to go one more half moon, destroy everything. Boom. And I come all the way back with squares. And then from here, you're going to attach it to the twig instead of the square foundation. I think I just attached the square foundation there. The way to tell this is done correctly is if you have the stone, like this stone has to be on this right here. So I didn't do, I di I didn't do it correctly. Let's do it again. That should do this. And then now you see this cluster of stones that's on the on your side. Now you're good to upgrade it. And then we're going to do that again one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. Delete this with your hammer. Bring it back twice. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more square. Bring it all the way back. And then from here, you're going to place it, place one on the left side here. And then you're going to go f as far as you can to the right. Boom. And as far away as you can to the left. Boom. And if you see the clusters on the left side of these triangles on both, you're good to, you don't have to, you don't actually have to upgrade. But from here, you're going to put from the left and from the right, two half walls and then place a triangle, triangle frame. And then you can upgrade that. So from here, usually game lights tells you to just cover it up. So what you would do is you would do this. You would add this, you would add this, right? And then you make your door going up. But using a furnace here is actually really annoying. It's so hard to get up. I'll show you real quick. Using this, you're going you're gonna to get stuck all the time. So what you actually want to do is don't put this yet. You're just going to make this twig like that and then build that later because it doesn't matter if you build it later you're just gonna have a temporary jump up and then place one door right here and now you have three doors to your main loop and a second floor after this you probably want to do the same thing on this side what you did there and make the externals so if you remember it was one two three four five six six and then go all the way back. Boom. There's a triangle there. You want to upgrade this, obviously. And then you're going to go right side. And if, if the stone cluster is actually on the top right, this is very confusing. But if the top right cluster is stone, then yes, you're good to go again. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is all memory. You just got to remember it. There's no easy way, guys. I'm sorry. Get rid of this. You get rid of this. So you can place a TC. Why is this too close to another building? Boom. 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 We do that. You have that there. Now you have a uh, external TC again on this side that you can loot. And then from here, you just upgrade this. You attach it to this. And then I think this is when you would probably upgrade your honeycomb like this. And then probably upgrade your floors. I would just make it high quality if you have it. Make it metal if you don't. If you have high quality, you want to make this high quality as well. Wait, what happened here? Oh wait, this is not this is not supposed to be high quality. And then you make this metal. 
Metal, metal, metal. Metal. And then later on, if you have a ladder, then you upgrade this to metal here. And you can get rid of that. And this can all be stone. And then you just honeycomb. I'll just make it stone for now. Boom, 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 boom. And the great thing about this base is like, it's really hard for raiders to tell that it's this tanky already. Because if you just have this, right? And then you cover this like that. Boom. You have the two doorways here. This is going to be your uh, way out. Like right here. Boom. Boom, boom. Like that. And we leave this foundation right here because we're actually going to work on the the other bunker already. So we're going to go here. Twig. Boom. Boom. I think this is the higher. This is the higher one. So we're going to use the higher one to put this. And then boom. And we have the gap already. And then you just upgrade this. If you want, you can uh, kind of leave this open. You can just destroy this again. And then just make this metal. Make it metal. Like that. And then if you have another vending machine, you just put it on an angle like this. And you can still loot it. Make this metal. You don't have to make it metal. You can make it stone, by the way. You can make, upgrade it later. But now you have another functional uh, bunker already. So easy, right? Literally so easy. Now you have five bunkers protecting your all your TCs, your, your core, and then another one upstairs. And now you just want to upgrade to uh, stone. And then have your way up here. One important thing here, guys. You can do something like this. Boom, boom. Yeah, we do we do this, we do this. Because later on, this is gonna be another this is gonna be our way up plus our bunker, right? And the reason why we do this is if we put a low wall here, we can't actually put this anymore. We can't put this wall. Because it's occupying the same socket. But if we put a full wall, we can put the roof triangle. But if we do the do the wall first, we actually can't. So what we wanna do, we wanna put the roof first and then put the wall. And then upgrade it. And then we can get rid of that as well. As long as we have this. I would I would keep this though. Just makes it safe. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. And you can just cover this. Honeycomb it. This is your way up. You can go like this. You have another door here. And then once you have a once you have a third floor. I would actually stop right here. I would not make it any taller. I would work on the, the inner peaks now or our little compound because we want to place at this point of the wipe, probably want to have a spot for uh, oil refinery. So you got to go to where you put the TC, put one square triangle or square foundation, and then you're going to put one triangle foundation one step higher. And then you're going to do this formation. You're going to break this. Five triangles plus one, and then get rid of these. And then place square, square. Like that. So as you can see, it's going to be one step higher. And then you go to the other side, do the same thing. Boom. It's a very easy layout. Like that. Come over here. I don't know why this says too close to another building. Hello? Why is building bugged? Building is so bug sometimes. Literally. You do that. You do this. You can probably leave this here. Like that. Boom. You connect it on the other side. And then you upgrade all of this. 
So this is gonna be your entrance on this side. I'm just gonna do a uh, B grade now because I showed the beginning part already. And then from here, you decide if you want to do these uh, loot rooms, these bedrooms. I'm actually not, because I can always put it on the L side. Go here, that, boom, boom, boom. And then now you have a semi compound. People have to like ladder in if they want to come here. So you're a little bit more safe now. And if you're feeling safe, you can place a oil refinery on this side. And then you can also make this two floors high. Then you're really safe unless they people people are like laddering. All right. So from here, this is going to be our way out. So we put wall frames right here. We put wall frames in here. Start putting doors down. Come to the third floor. And from here, this is where things get interesting. So this can be your inner peaks right here. Uh, this one is going to be going up like this. If you have a locker already at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to cover this right here. And then you're going to put one wall frame right here. Another wall frame. Actually, no, just one wall frame. Cover this. And then you're going to place a locker. Cold lock it. And then place the roof. And you don't want to put it tilted like this because they can see. You want to make it as straight as possible. Probably as close as possible to here. And then you won't be able to see it. But you can open it. So now this is going to be your way up. And if you want to make this Adobe, you have an easier time passing through it. Same thing over here. Cover this. Wall frame here. Uh, and then triangle. You're going to put place this here. Boom. And then you can open it again. And then here, I'm not really sure what we want to do. What we can do is something like this. Boom. Boom, boom. Because from here on out, we can decide whether or not we want to make this our inner peaks. So this is how the inner peaks is going to be. Usually. The good thing about these roofs, right? is it actually stops people from being able to fit in to the bottom. Boom. And you probably want to probably want to put like a floor frame here. I think that would be nice. You can cover this now. So you can either have your window floor right here. Boom. Or if you're going to make this one floor higher, you can put wall frames. Kind of like how I showed in the beginning. If you want to have outer peaks, along with inner peaks in the same spot, then you want to do that. But I think I'll show the cheap version for this one. Okay, so your window floor is right here. You can put another bedroom right here if you really want. You can put a bedroom right here. The only con is that you can't actually have too much mobility in your inner peaks. But honestly, it might be worth it for an extra spawn. I'm going to leave it open for now, though, because it actually it makes quite a difference if you're looking around like this. Boom, boom, boom. If you want even the cheap version and make it so that you can actually have outer peaks as well, you can go like this. But it's it's very, very expensive on metal and you kind of need BPs, right? If you want to make, um, I don't know, like chain link or something. And then what we do here is we just cover this whole thing up like this. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. This is actually going to be your way up right here. So from here, you probably want to have half walls to make it easier for yourself. Boom. Like that. Like this. And then you can do that. For stability. Like that. This is your way up. What we did earlier is we had this. This way would be your upwards like that. Boom. Maybe not even have it this way. So that for this one, you can have it facing this. Like 
that. And then you can cover this. And like we showed before, you can have extra loot rooms here. If you want even more coverage, you can actually put this here. I would, I would recommend just keeping it like this though. Because you can kind of see pretty much everything. And then I would just put roofs all across this. Also, if you're anal about like this positioning here, you can actually put this roof first so that it connects and then place your wall so that you can have this wall plus the roof. You can peek with armored doors, yes, if you want. You can go like this, this, boom, like that. And then you're pretty much done. I mean, the base is pretty much done at this point. Let's actually check at this point how much the base is. This is not expensive at all right now. We have one stone, one stone here. We probably want to actually connect this though. So let's do that real quick. So we can even do something like this where this could be our way in like this. Oh yeah, no, that works. That works. We can do this. Boom, boom. Just a standard gatehouse and then make it like that. Here, here. And then we just make it metal, 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 and then metal, metal. Now it's metal. Get rid of that. And then we make sure that it's actually disconnectable. It's disconnected. Boom. So it on the other side as well. Boom. And then you just learn walls and then just cover your, your base like this. And I would not recommend uh, making large furnaces, to be honest. Electric furnaces are insane. And I'll just keep it at electric furnaces. You could do budget even. To make it even more budget and just go with two. Because we're all about being efficient with our resources. Um, let's see. Boom, 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 boom. Pretty much done. Let's see how much it is. Cost is 60k stone and 7,650 metal. So a box and a half of stone, which is like maybe one farm run, to be honest, if you're going with two people. Obviously, later on, you would be upgrading all this to metal. And then other than that, maybe put another door here, garage door uh, right here. Obviously, you want to have embrasures as well. And then base is actually finished with all the deployables. So let's see. 18k metal and about 53k stone. But as you saw in the beginning, like you can just forego upgrading a lot of stuff to metal if all you have is stone around you. So you can just use like 7k metal and then 60k stone. And like I said, you can do the, the bunkers right here. Like this bunker and then place this. Either this is a bunker, either this is a bunker or a shop. It's either a bunker or a shop. So you can go like this and then it opens and you can actually do it on all four sides oh and um the way up is gonna be like this and if you're insane you could make this wood right here and then go like this right and then you just cover this maybe and then you could put like a box in there and then really hide your loot if you if you're if you're insane you would have to be insane to do that. You can make this, um, here, I'll show you. You can make this twig like that. Just leave it like that. And then make it Adobe whenever you want to break it. Like this would be like, you would have to be so clinically online and so obsessed with your pixels if you did this, but I'm just going to show it in, in case you are. This is one thing that you can do. Also, if you're crazy, what you could do is uh, I kind of messed up. Let's just say it's there. What you could do is you could do this. Boom. And then you would put a turret right there. Because if you put it here, it's it's pretty high up, right? 
So they wouldn't even know if they break through the doors. Boom. Now they're not even able to get out. And there's a turret right there. And it covers pretty much all angles. It covers this entire thing and they can't rocket it out from inside here. They have to go inside. Another turret location would be covering here. Boom. This is like a very, it's like almost destined to be there because it's already covered and it covers the entire um, inner peaks. And I would also put another one right here like that. Boom. And then what you could do is you could have even one more bunker right here. Boom. You can have as many bunkers as you want, honestly. You could have two bunkers right here. It's actually insane. You could have as many bunkers as you want. Boom. 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 Opens. Opens. Another thing I didn't talk about, actually, is the fact that I want my base to look like I can raid this guy. The reason why I made the outside look as roleplay as possible is because I want people to think, holy shit, this guy still lives in 2018. I think a lot of people will look at this base and be like, this is an easy ass raid. Like, this is an easy online. Let's just go raid, raid this guy right now. But little do they know, there's endless bedrooms in here. There's decent coverage it's not the best obviously like white peaks are much better but it has decent coverage it has decent mobility it's pretty tanky it has a lot of bunkers so even if someone raids your tcs and your main loot you won't lose everything i got the perfect name for it i'm gonna call this the catfish this is this will officially be called the catfish because it catfishes as an easy target but little do they know there's another base in here also, we went to travels and fish was a big thing. I'm just a fish. So I think the catfish is a great name, dude. All right. That took way too long to explain such a simple base design. I don't know how these guys do it. Like I said, I always build bases that look shitty from the outside, but is actually defendable. It needs to be defendable online. It needs to have a lot of bunkers that are not annoying that I have to break or I have to, before I go roam, I have to like close it again somehow. And then like open it back in like i don't want that hassle i want it to be easy i want it to be easy to build from wipe day like i don't want to have to build out like 50,000 triangles before i even have my tc down it's not the best tutorial it's not the best base out there but i think it's definitely unique in the sea of these kind of bases you know you know what i'm talking about guys thank you for watching hope you don't get offline with this one have a great day ggs enjoy the base